Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give Baby, you don't know what you do to me hey y'all welcome back to my channel on today's video i'm going to show you guys all the seed varieties that i have to plant this spring and summer and i am so excited so i'm not even gonna talk that long i'm just gonna get right in and show you all all right so first up i ordered seeds from my gardener this is my first time ever ordering seeds from them but I like the prices and I like the varieties. So I ordered some and here we go. So this spring and summer, I will be planting these little gem lettuce. I think this is so cute. And I think this would be a perfect um, lettuce to put in a planter. So it says you start indoors four weeks before your last frost and let's see seven to ten days to germinate and plant size is four to six inches so this is a good little lettuce to put in a planter then I also have lilac bell pepper it is a purple bell pepper. I think this is going to be so pretty. Um, pretty color to add in the garden. And I can't wait to see these grow. I can't wait to eat them either. It's going to be nice. Um, so I also have black cream tomato. And this is my first time ever growing a heirloom um, tomato and this one is five to ten days to germinate um, start indoors six to eight weeks before your last frost fruit sizes are 12 to 16 ounces very cute very pretty I'm also going to try the Aunt Molly ground cherries I had these um, once before, but I bought a plant from the Lowe's, no, from the Home Depot. So this time I'm going to try to start them from seed. So we're going to see how that goes, but they are really good, really tasty, sweet. Tastes like fruit. Don't really taste like a tomato. It tastes like um, some type of fruit. It's really good. Y'all should try those. Next up is a pineapple tomato, and this one is six to eight weeks, start indoors before the last frost, five, ten days uh, to germinate, fruit size is up to two pounds. So this is going to be a pretty big tomato, can't wait to see this one grow, can't wait to taste it. Then I also got the teddy bear sunflowers. So, that just speaks for itself. It's real cute. And I can't wait to grow these as well. Then I got Butterbush Squash. And these are one to two pounds. So, they're pretty big. Um, you can direct sow these when the soil is workable. It is five to ten days to germinate and 75 days to maturity also I got mixed beans and then you can start these indoors um, it is two or three weeks before the last frost you can direct studies uh, right into your garden after the last frost eight to ten days to germinate and it's a 24 inch bush so these are bush beans. Then I also got Jack B. Little Pumpkins. So these are little bitty pumpkins. Um, I got these to grow inside a container. Um, 
and these are 7 to 14 days to germinate. The fruit sizes are 2 to 5 inches. Start indoors 2 to 3 weeks before your last frost, or you can direct sow these after the last frost. So, yeah. So, most of everything that I bought is something that I can grow in containers or a little raised garden bed because I don't have, um, well, I have the yard space, but I don't have it set up to where I can just fully grow like a vegetable garden. So, I would just have vegetables here and there in my garden, anywhere I can put them in a pot or a raised bed. So, next up, I have... Um, Cayenne peppers, they're purple. You can um, start indoors eight to 10 weeks before your last frost, 10 to 21 days to germinate, 75 to 85 days to maturity, and the fruit sizes are three to five inches. So yeah, I got a purple theme going on. <laughs> so I got a lot of purple stuff. That's my favorite color, by the way. Um, also, I got these Hill Country Red Okras. So, it is four to five weeks before your last frost. Seven to 14 days to germinate. And also, it takes 65 to 70 days to maturity. And it is a five-inch pot. So, good list size. All right, so that was everything from my first order from my gardener. I got another order from my gardener as well. All right. So, okay. So, y'all, I'm real excited about this garden season. Hopefully, everything goes as planned, and if it don't, you know, you have mistakes, you have hiccups in the garden, you have some wins, you have some fails, but what? We keep going. All right, so the first thing is coffee. So, I thought this was interesting to try to grow some um, coffee beans. Um, so, it says you can start these indoors. 8 to 12 weeks before your last frost. It takes 2 to 6 months to germinate. I didn't know that. That's a long time for germination. Um, it takes 3 to 4 years to maturity. You put 1 seed per container. And the plant size is a 3 to 5 foot tree. So I'll be waiting. It <laughs> I will be waiting three to four years on this coffee, but it's an investment, investment in my time. So I can't wait to see how this goes. So, hey, I'm with it. Chives. Oh yeah, I also have a green stock. So a lot of this stuff I will be putting in my green stock as well. Um. And also, I'm thinking about buying another one during Mother's Day. I think they go on sale during Mother's Day. So, um, these chives are four to six weeks before the last frost. You can direct sow these two weeks before the last frost. And it takes four to 14 days to germinate. The plant size is 12 inches tall and 80 days to maturity. So, then I got some Hamburg root, rooted parsley. I thought this was interesting. So you can eat the root and the leaf of this parsley. I wonder how the root tastes. Um, so it is start indoors six to eight weeks before the last frost. Direct so after the last frost. Days to germinate, 14 to 21 days. And then the root size is 6 inches long and 70 to 90 days to maturity. I got some Long Island Brussels sprout. 
start indoors two to three weeks before your last frost. Direct so three to four weeks prior to your last frost for fall. Um, let's see. Days to germinate, five to ten. Plant size is 24 inches. And maturity is 75 to 115 days. So, sounds good. Also got this green flesh honeydew. Um, never grew a honeydew melon before, but I would like to try this time, and we're going to see how this goes. So, 90 days to maturity. The fruit size is 3 to 4 pounds. So, not too big. So, you could grow these in a container. Um, just make sure you support them with something. Stake them up, support them. All right, I also have the Rocky Ford cantaloupe, and it is two to three pounds, seven to ten days to germinate, and 75 days until maturity. I have this Verdell spinach, seven to 14 days to germinate, 50 days to maturity. And it is five inches tall. Then I have this kale mix. I thought this is interesting. It's like um, two different colors. And you can start this early spring to mid-summer. Um, you can start indoors also four to six weeks before the last frost. It's 7 to 10 days to germinate. The plant size is 12 to 36 inches tall. And it's 30 to 60 days to maturity. Then I have this pumpkin. Kaika pumpkin. It says start indoors 2 to 3 weeks before your last frost. You can direct sow this after your last frost. Um, 7 to 14 days to germinate. 100 days to maturity, and it is a five to eight pound size pumpkin. I also have this green globe artichoke, and you can start indoors eight to 12 weeks before the last frost. Um, 14 to 21 days to germinate, 120 days to maturity, and this plant gets three to four feet tall and four feet wide. So, yeah, you can grow that in a container, too. So, yeah, I got a lot of stuff, y'all. So, I'm hope I'm able to grow everything and find enough space for everything. Because I would really like to see all this stuff grow up and taste it all. So, next I have, like I said... It's a purple thing. <laughs> if it was purple, I was buying it. So, purple sprout and broccoli. Eight weeks before outdoor planting. Early spring after frost. Midsummer or fall harvest. Okay. So, you can... Oh, I'm sorry. So, you can direct sow this early spring after frost. Right? You can also direct sow it midsummer for a fall harvest. That's what it's saying. So, days to germinate, 10 to 21 days. Um, plant size is 12 to 24 inches tall, 65 days to germinate. So, yeah, this is going to be real pretty. I also got some purple carrots. They look more red on this picture, but it says purple. But let's see. You can direct sow these three to five weeks before the last frost. Um, 14 to 21 days to germinate. 60 days to maturity. And the root size is eight.
shit done messed up my what you call it. God damn it. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, like I was saying, this gets 8 to 11 inches long. So these carrots, I'm going to try to grow in my green stock. Um, seeing that it only gets 8 to 11 inches long, I believe it'll fit in a green stock. So we're going to see how that goes. So follow along with me this season to see how everything gets growing, how things are growing in containers, how things are growing in my raised beds, and how things are growing in that green stock. I also have this purple cauliflower and it is four to six weeks before the last frost you can direct sow this early spring after frost for midsummer um you can days to germinate is eight to ten days this plant size is 18 inches tall 12 inches wide and 90 days to maturity so I'm going to grow this in a raised bed. Corn. This is direct sow. One week after the last frost. Five to ten days to germinate. 110 to 120 days to maturity. And it only gets six to eight feet tall. So I'm going to grow this in a raised bed or either a big pot, grow pot. Or something like that. And I think it'll do just fine. I also have this red strawberry popcorn corn. And it is direct so one week after last frost. Um, five to ten days to germination. 105 days to maturity. And this also gets six to eight feet tall. So I will be growing this in a container too. And I got this... Um, to make popcorn. Nasturtiums is the jewel mix. So I would be planting these um, all around where I have my vegetables growing to help with pollination. But I thought this was a cute little mix. Started from C. Oh, let me tell y'all the uh, things on it. So start indoors three to four. Four weeks before the last frost. You can direct sow these after the last frost. Days to germinate, 7 to 14 days. 50 days to maturity, and the plant gets 12 inches tall. So I'm going to also put some of these in the green stock as well. Yep. So I got plants. I got plants, baby. I can't wait. Let's see. All season cabbage. So I guess I will be growing these in a raised bed. Um, so it says eight, I mean six to eight weeks before last frost. Direct sow this as soon as the ground is workable. Germinate. It takes seven to fourteen days, days to maturity, eighty to ninety. And the plant size is ten inches wide. The plant um also gets 11 to 14 pounds. So, nice size cabbage raised, raised beds. Because like I said, I don't have like a big space to put like vegetables and stuff. So, everything I will be growing will be in raised beds, pots, or the green stock. I also have these carnations. I thought this was so pretty. It's purple as well. And I also got the pink. So let's see. So you can start indoors six to eight weeks before your last frost. 14 to 21 days to germinate. Uh, 130 to 140 days to maturity. So that's going to take a good, good little time. But yeah, we got time. We got all the time because it's still early. It's just February, so hey, we're going to get the 
starting seeds real soon and I'm gonna do a video on, on how I start my seeds my setup how I got everything set up in my sunroom and take y'all along for that and let y'all see how everything goes with that and I'm not gonna lie to you sometimes starting seeds is not not I don't do the best at doing it but we're gonna try and we're gonna try try again <laughs> Till we get it right all right so i also got seeds from baker's creek and first up i got tomato orange hat and i bought these um mainly to grow in the green stock because it's a little small tomato plant and i thought these would be real cute in the green stock so yeah, it says you can start indoors six to 10, 10 weeks before your last frost. Um, heat mats helps to warm soil and seed germination. So you can use a heat mat with this to help with seed germination. But I usually don't use heat mats on none of my seeds. I mean, I don't think it's too necessary, but we'll see how it go. I also got these black strawberry tomatoes. And I just thought they were real neat looking, really. That's the only reason I bought them. But it says it's a marble blue and scarlet and gold. A bowl full of luscious bunch of gems. That's what it look like, gems. So, <clears throat> they got me. They got me with the looks. So it says start in indoors six to ten weeks before the last frost. So yeah, I bet they taste good too. And then this is a free seed that they sent me. It's a lettuce. I also got um, some cucumbers from Baker's Creek. I got the Sugar Baby Bush watermelon. I was trying to find um, a small size watermelon to grow because I love watermelon and I always want to grow some. So I, we will see how this goes. And it says it's great for containers. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. And I also got this mint green mountain tea. I love tea. I'm a tea lover. So this is right up my alley. I can't wait to taste this. Um, let's see. It also attracts pollinators and you can brew tea with it. Um, it's a perennial, so it's gonna grow back every year. That's a plus. And then I also got this corn and it's called Class Gem. And I just think this is so beautiful. I mean, some of them said that you couldn't eat this kind of corn, but I think on this website where I ordered from Break, um, Baker's Creek, it said that you are able to eat it. I'm gonna have to research this some more. But if I just grow it just because the way it looked, that's fine for me too. So let me know if this is edible. All right, what else we got? Oh, yeah, I went to Walmart and got some onions. And it's a lot of onions in here. So I'm going to find me a big grow pot or um, use one whole raised bed. Look, it's already sprouting out. We got little sprouts on it. So that lets you know that the um my bugs are good. But yeah, big grow pot or a raised bed to put all them onions in. And I also got regular potatoes and sweet potatoes from the Walmart. Um I'm gonna say what kind, but it's three tubers in here. They were only three. 324 and this is the sweet potato and I also got seed potato Yukon gold 
potatoes and it is five tubers in here for $3.24. That was a good price, I thought. $3.24 for eat the onions, the sweet potatoes, and the regular potatoes. And I also got the garlic. And it's called Garlic California. And it is $3.24 as well. And you get three bulbs in this one. <laughs> All right, from the Walmart, I also got this Estable Chocolate Kisses. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not sure. But that's how it looks. And I thought that would be really pretty because I like pink too. <laughs> but yeah, and I think this is a good pollinator attractor as well. And it is excellent for cut flowers. So there you have it. And it's going to come back every year. So that's always a plus as well. There you go. I knew I bought that for some reason. <laughs> cup flowers. I love me some cup flowers. And I love stuff that's going to come back year after year after year. Also from the Walmart, I got some Swiss chard. Never grew this before. They said it tastes real good. Um, great substitute for collard greens. So, hey, we're going to try these out this time. And I like the color of the uh, bottom of it. That's real pretty. All right. I got these Bells of Ireland cut flowers. Like I said, I love some cut flowers in the garden. Um, so, when I make my flowers arrangement, I can use this as a filler. Um, it will be in a pot because I heard that it does like to spread and I believe this is no this says it's the annual but I guess it still can spread um, I got these dahlia from seeds so that's going to be interesting um, this is called the palm pond mix and let's see 70 days to bloom so not too bad i also got some bachelor buttons cut flowers and 42 days to maturity to bloom so yep that sound real good too i got these zinnia envies this is real pretty it's gonna be real pretty so this is going to be used as a cup flower, too. And it says it's a container variety. And these dahlias is a container variety, too. So that's going to be right up in my alley. And I'm also... So I already have one green stalk. So I'm thinking about getting um, another green stalk in May. But I'm also thinking about my birthday is next month. So I'm thinking about asking my kids and my husband to buy me one for my birthday. So then I have three. So then I have one for my um, herbs, one for cut flowers, and then one for vegetables. I think that's going to be the plan. I think that's what I'm going to do. And that's a great way to save space and have a lot of stuff. So, yeah, I think that's, that's the plan. So yeah, container variety. Then I also got the Sunflower Dwarf Incredibles. Love me some sunflowers. Then I also got these Sweet Peas. Never grew Sweet Peas before. First time for everything. But I heard that um, they smell wonderful. 50 Days to Bloom. Um, I guess I will grow these and a pot and have something to stake them up on because I think you have to stake these up so yeah but I'm gonna start these indoor early so I can have them for a long time yeah I can't wait then I also got this cactus mix now this is gonna be interesting <laughs> we're gonna see what's gonna happen but I'm sure going to try. And then it says these um, varieties, some of these varieties bloom every year. 
So yeah, this is gonna be an experiment. I have never tried to grow cactus before, but I'm excited about it. I'm very excited about it. I can't wait. And then I also got Columbine. And it blooms every year. Never grew these before either. But something else for a flower arrangement. I love to make a flower arrangement. And like I said, when I get this green stalk, I'm going to have one green stalk full of flowers that I can cut. And I hope they all cut and come again. Because I'm going to be a flower arranging baby, honey. <laughs> it's on and popping. But yeah, I'm going to have flowers other places too. But I want a green stalk just dedicated to just growing nothing but cut flowers. I think that's going to be a win. I think that's going to be a Look, I'm already excited. I can't wait. So... Lastly, from uh, Walmart, I have the Snapdragon First Ladies. So, yeah, beautiful. Flower arrangement. <laughs> I can't wait, y'all. I cannot wait. When I say I'm going to be on here making all kind of flower arrangements for y'all, it's on and popping. And these is not all the flowers. I got flowers and flowers on top of flowers on top of flowers and it's gonna go down baby <laughs> it's gonna go down i can't wait but yeah i'm excited about this season y'all and i hope y'all are too and i can't wait to see what some of you all are doing and i hope you can't wait to see how what i'm doing and what's gonna happen because it's always a surprise to me baby and you know what like i said you have some wins you have some fails but guess what we don't give up we just keep going and everything gonna work out everything gonna be fine but we're going to try, try again. But yeah, that's everything, you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I hope y'all continue to watch. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share this video with others. And I hope you all are excited as I am about this gardening season. And see y'all next time. Bye.